welcome back to Bonapapa. Today we are going to prepare a super yummy, tasty, and fun recipe for kids. We're going to cook together spaghetti muffins with sweet peas and tomatoes. It's a delicious recipe. I test it with my kids and they love it. Let's start together preheating the oven at 400 Fahrenheit degrees. Then we're going to fill three quarts of a pot with water and bring to boil. When the water is boiling, add one tablespoon of sea salt and the spaghetti. Reduce the heat to medium low and set the timer four minutes before the suggested cooking time. Because basically we do not want to fully cook our pasta because we're going to finish cooking the pasta in the oven. Meanwhile, in a large skillet, heat the olive oil with the garlic. Cook for one minute at medium high heat. Add the sweet peas, stir, and cook for another two minutes. Add the tomato sauce, oregano, adjust with a pinch of salt, and skip the salt for babies under 12 months, and cook for eight minutes up until the sauce is nicely reduced. In a bowl, whisk the two eggs all together with the grated Parmesan cheese and set aside. Drain the pasta and add it to the skillet. Mix with the tomato and sweet pea sauce. Turn the heat off and let the pasta cool down for a good 10 minutes. It's time to add the spaghetti in the cheesy eggs bowl and mix. Prepare a muffin tin greased with one tablespoon of olive oil. Fill each hole with little nests of spaghetti. How to do it? Look, I'm rolling a fork in the center of the spaghetti bowl and then I'm creating the nest. With the tablespoon, I'm transferring the spaghetti nest in the muffin tin hole and with the help of the spoon, I'm releasing the spaghetti so that my nest are formed. Top with some sweet pea sauce and remember the sauce always remain at the bottom of the bowl so it's fine. It's time to bake our spaghetti muffins in the preheated oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Let them cool down a few minutes and serve them. This is a lovely recipe, not only because it's a fun one, but because it's also a finger food for toddlers. They can really hold the spaghetti muffin and they can start enjoying it, biting it. It totally works. Question, may I skip the eggs? So I know that many of you are looking for egg-free recipes because of allergies or because they are sensitive to eggs. No problem. So the eggs in this recipe, they have two roles. So first of all, they give extra protein to the recipe, making it a complete meal. And then eggs, they act as a binding, as a glue uh, agent uh, when you form the muffins, though they keep the spaghetti together. You can skip the eggs, yes. I would suggest to increase the quantity of cheese, so instead of a quarter of a cup, half a cup, because the cheese will melt and basically will glue the spaghetti together and your nest, your muffins, will be nice and compact. Can I add more veggies? Of course you can. You can add zucchini, broccoli, asparagus, green beans, spinach, even mushrooms. Chop them in small pieces and add them when you add the sweet peas and you will cook them together. You can also switch vegetables following the season. Whatever you have available in the fridge will work. I think this is a lovely fun recipe that the kids like because it's pasta and because it has an unusual fun shape. And that's why you can use this recipe to add ingredients and introduce maybe new ingredients or offer ingredients that usually they don't like so much to your kids. I really, really hope you're going to love this recipe. If you have any comment, leave them in the area here below. I will try to reply as soon as I can. If you want the printable recipe, head to my blog, bonapappa.net, where you will find the printable recipe. 
what else i have a new book it will be on sale on uh, mid february and uh, it's a baking toddler book it's a little helpers toddler baking cookbook i hope you will enjoy it i love to prepare this cookbook because uh, it's something I truly, truly believe in, that is baking with little ones. Cooking, but also baking, it's even more fun <laughs> because everything that is baking has a positive energy around. I will leave you the link if you want to order the book in the area here below. And uh, last thing, remember to subscribe to Buona Papa if you want to receive every single week a new recipe from me. Ciao, ciao, ciao.